Uh oh, something's not right. What the? That's not a floppy dude. I wonder why it's printing spaghetti. I know. Whoopsies, I forgot my printer magnet. If you print without your printer magnet, it has nothing to stick to. So all it does is print that nice spaghetti. Huh. I wonder what the problem is this time. I can see my magnet's on and it's not printing spaghetti, but my magnet does look a little shiny and it's getting pushed off of the printer bed. I know why. I had my printer magnet upside down. My sloppy dude was doing good, but now he has a shift. The first thing I check when I have a shift is if my wires are tucked in. And they are. I'll just cancel and restart now. I'm pretty and I hear this weird noise. I know what that means. A tangle. My bunny was going well until his little head shifted. Let's check for a tangle. A tangle will shift your print or cause scratchy layers. If you see or hear a tangle coming, you might be able to save your print. Here's how you do that. You're going to take your snippers and you're going to snip up here, but you're going to leave yourself enough room, aka time, to find and undo your tangle. Hold on to that end. Take your spool off the spool holder. And I pull nice and tight until I can find the knot. Then you're gonna make sure that you pull that tangle through. I actually have two tangles. And you wanna beat this piece. You wanna get to this before that piece is gone. Nice and tight and straight. As soon as this little piece is all the way into the extruder box, I'm gonna put my piece in. But I'm gonna do this nice and gentle. I'm not going to apply too much force and I'm gonna make sure that I allow the tool head to move freely so I don't affect the print. I like to hold it in place until I feel like it's had a time to grab the new filament. And as soon as I'm confident that's the case, I let go and ta-da, I've saved my print.